for this craft, you will need a glue stick, a pair of scissors, a bundle of yarn, some markers, and six different pieces of colored construction paper, paper plus one white piece of paper. Hello, bonjour, and tense, everyone. My name is Pearl, and welcome back to another virtual Sunday school. I am so excited to have you here with me today because today we are going to read a story about a man named Bartimus. Bartimus was sitting by a road just outside a city. He felt the dusty ground and a clump of grass, but Bartimus could not see what he was feeling because Bartimus was blind. Bartimus sniffed the air. He could smell donkeys grazing nearby, but he couldn't see them. Suddenly, Bartimus paid attention. A great crowd of people were coming. He could hear them. Some people said, here comes Jesus. Well, Jesus, please help me, shouted Bartimus. Be quiet, ordered the people nearby. But Bartimus shouted louder. Jesus, Jesus, please, please help me. Jesus stopped walking. Whoever is asking for help, please come here, he said. Bartimus threw off his cloak and sprung up. What do you want me to do for you, said Jesus. My teacher, let me see again, said Bartimus. And then, right away, Bartimus could see again. Jesus had cured him of his blindness and he could see all around him. How crazy is that? <laughs> Jesus has done so many things in his life. And in this story, he made a blind man see again. Oh, that's incredible. I'd be a little bit sad if I was blind because there are so many different things to see. But we also have a few other senses, so it wouldn't be so bad. Hmm. Thinking about all of our senses gives me a pretty good idea for a craft. What do you say, everyone? Should we go to the craft table? Yeah, I think so. Come on, let's go. Welcome back to the craft table, everyone. I am so excited to do this next craft with you all today. So what we are making is we're going to make a little senses booklet. So you remember how Bartimus was blind? Well, I thought this was a good opportunity to kind of take into appreciation all of our different senses that we have. And most of us have five of them. Sight, hearing, feeling, smelling, and tasting. So I thought that we could make a little booklet to celebrate that. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to cut this piece of paper, this white piece of paper, into five squares. So we'll take our scissors and you can kind of divide it up beforehand if you like, or you just, you just kind of guesstimate. And I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate, but you are allowed to do whatever you think is right. Awesome. And now we have five white squares. And on those five white squares, eventually we are going to write some things or draw some things. But for now, these five white squares can be set just to the side because now we deal with the colored paper. So essentially what we want to do is we want to cut all six of these colors into the same size square. So we're gonna take all of them together, or if your scissors aren't powerful enough to do all of them together, you can break it into groups. But we are going to cut out a big square out of here. And it doesn't have to be too big, but we want it just a little bit bigger than our white squares. So keeping that in mind, you can kind of guess where you'd like to cut, or you can trace one of your white squares on here and cut around it. It doesn't matter, you can do whatever you'd like. And once you have that cut out, 
you can see, and you can take this piece of paper and set it off to the side. We won't be using it anymore in this craft, but it's still good paper, so you could use it in another craft or for little bits. So now we should have six white squares of different colors, or maybe you chose to use the same color, and they should be just a little bit bigger than the white squares we cut out. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these white squares back and we are going to glue each white square to the center of each of our colored squares. And you'll have a little colored border around the edge. So we'll do that with all of our squares with our trusty glue stick. Now, you might be thinking, well, Pearl, you missed the red square. But the red square, or whatever square you choose to be the cover of your book, will be left blank. So when they're all stacked together, the cover will be blank, and the back will be blank, but each inside page will have a little white square on it. And on those white squares now, we are going to write our favorite senses. So we can take our marker and you can choose whatever color you'd like. I'm gonna choose blue here and I'll switch colors as I go. But you're going to write on the first piece of paper your favorite thing to see. And you can get a parent or an older sibling, like a brother or sister, to help with the writing if you'd like. Or you can skip the writing entirely if you don't want to write. But on here, we are going to write or draw our favorite thing to see. So I'm going to do that now. So my favorite thing to see is a sunset. And now that I'm done that one, I can put it aside. Now for your second one, you are going to write your favorite things to hear. So you can write or draw whatever you like that you love hearing with your ears. So on mine, I drew some piano keys because one of my favorite things to hear is the sound of someone playing piano. And on the next card, you are going to write your favorite thing to smell. So next, we're going to do our favorite things to touch. What do you like to touch? So for my favorite things to touch, I drew my cat and my dog because they're so soft and I love petting them. And finally, for our last page, we are going to write our favorite things to taste. Our favorite, favorite things to taste. One of my favorite, favorite things to taste is ice cream. So. Now that you have all of your things drawn, you have your favorite thing to see, favorite thing to hear, favorite thing to smell, favorite thing to touch, and favorite thing to taste, we are going to make this into a booklet. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna cut two holes on the side here. And if you have a hole puncher, that would work way, way better, but I don't have a hole puncher. We're gonna cut two holes and we're gonna tie them with yarn. So, two holes. And I'm taking all of my paper here all at once to cut. 
But if your scissors aren't that strong, you can do it individually. Okay, and now we should have two holes. And they can be a little uneven, that's okay. Because the next step is to tie those holes together with yarn. So you're gonna get a little bit of yarn, not too much, but probably, you know, a couple inches like that. And you want two pieces of yarn that are about the same size. And you can take that yarn one at a time and thread them through the holes you've made. And once they're through those holes, you simply tie them together like so. And then boom, they're all tied together and you can look through your book just like this. And we have one more step before we're done. See our front of the book? It's a little bland, don't you think? Well, I think we should spice it up with some markers and maybe some words. So we can do some designs, we can do some words, and I am going to name my book My Senses. And you have a wonderful little senses booklet that you can read at any time and there's even enough room that you can add things to it if you decide that you like other things you want to hear or other things that are your favorite smells and you can keep that forever as a cherished memory Thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. I had so much fun with you reading that story about Jesus and Barnabas and reading, I mean, making our little book. You can read it too, but I had so much fun doing this craft with you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you next week. And remember, God loves you very much and you should love yourself too. Bye-bye, everyone.